Hey guys, welcome to another Unplugged Health episode. I'm here on my own in my office. We are not at the clinic because Rogers uh, had to attend to some business and he's doing some, some learning in London, as you may have seen on the social media feeds. If you haven't, check it out because he's been doing some awesome stuff with his chiropractic work. Today I'm going to go through a short exercise, a very short exercise which has helped me personally with my goals and the belief in having them. It's also something I do when I journal every morning and whether you journal at the moment or not, it doesn't have to be something you do every single day, but doing this exercise is really going to help you step into that person you're going to become when you help yourself get to your goals. It's literally only going to take five minutes to go through this exercise, but the power it brings to your mental state and your mental clarity is massive, totally massive. And as I started implementing this, and people talk a lot about the secret, they talk a lot about money ma magnet meditation, and I do one every single morning, or different meditations, the secrets of getting rich and all these different things. And a lot of people don't believe in this stuff to actually happen, which is the first mistake. Now, one thing you need to do psychologically is believe, because the universe is pretty powerful in bringing these things that you believe that's going to happen to you. It, magnet, uh, it draws it to you with an energy, kind of like a magnet. And when we don't believe, we just make that repel off of us. And that is something which has been big in me getting to the levels that I've been, being able to travel the world and actually stay with clients all around the world to bring their body into the level that their business is at, creating a sustainable, scalable business for a sustainable body. And scalable body is that. Beforehand though, I thought this was all woo-woo. I thought it was a load of rubbish. Then a film changed my life. A film called The Peaceful Warrior. It's actually based on a book. It's a true story from a guy called Dan Millman. If you haven't read his books, check him out. A lot of them are on Audible. There's The Peaceful Warrior, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, Your Body, Your Mind. There's so many different books that he's written over these years, but he was a gymnast, tipped for very high things. I'm not going to spoil the story, but watch it. If you can't afford the six, seven pounds to get it on Amazon, just go on YouTube. There's a lower quality feed, but search The Peaceful Warrior. It's about an hour and 40 minutes, but search that and watch it. Because a lot of the times, we base our success on what we've done in the past. What we're able to achieve on what we've done in the past. What is actually gonna work on what we've done in the past. However, the past is something that's happened. We can worry about that, but it's happened. We can't change that past. The future is coming, but we only have this present moment here right now. And in order to be successful, I had to journal about the future as if it was the present moment. And I had to, as a very famous scene in that film, I had to take out the trash from here. Because right now, there is loads going on, even in this office, even in this house. I'm the only one in here. Okay, my dogs are in the kitchen, but I'm the only one in here. Right now I can hear birds tweeting. There's people in houses. I can't see them, but there's loads going on in those houses. I can see leaves moving because of the wind. I can see the birds flying around. There's a dog being walked right past my house. There's so much going on. But we don't see this because we are so busy up here. Now, that goes with journaling as well. So many of us like to, I mean, my grandparents used to keep a diary I haven't read it, but keeping a diary and being able to look in this diary, it was something that was looked on as normal. And now journaling has got to a point where it's looked on as a bit too woo-woo. However, journaling is so powerful. And in the morning I do my journal, I do my money magnet meditation, read the passage in Daily Stoic, a passage in Robin Sharma's daily book, and then I do my journaling based on around 50 or 60 different goals. And if you want to look at the course I took, my client, Stephen Kuhn, actually had the last goal setting course you'll ever need. If you want the link to it, drop me a message. I can send you a link. I think it's about $200, but it was so powerful and life-changing as a course for actually creating goals. And these goals I have, so many different goals. I journal for about five or 10 minutes after my meditation. I journal 
as if I'm already completing that goal, as if I've completed it. One of the goals of the house that I want, as if I'm actually journaling, as I'm writing it, I'm actually looking around and actually feeling what it's like to be in that house. What decorations are on the wall, what utensils are actually in the kitchen, what drawers everything is laid out in, what paint is on the wall, what pictures I've got in my office, whether there's a lock on the door, so many different things. And it becomes so powerful when you actually start to believe what your life looks like. One of mine was climbing Mount Everest. I journaled on the top of Mount Everest yesterday. I was on the top. I journaled about the sights I could see. I journaled about calling my wife from the satellite phone to say, I've made it to the summit. It was powerful. In fact, I get goosebumps right now just actually talking about it. I got goosebumps when I was writing it. And it is belief that you're already that person you were trying to be. Now the exercise for today is so simple and it takes a little bit of belief, belief in yourself, not the past, but belief in yourself in order to be able to push forward and implement this. Now, if you want to know what meditation I do, it's the Money Magnet Meditation by Before Bed, I think the people are on YouTube. It's great. It does have affirmations and you say them out loud, which I do. I've done the video last week in WeWork. I said those out loud in the middle of WeWork. I say them out loud on an airplane and just whispering into myself. I say them in my living room. It's powerful. Now this meditation, you just have a little think, but... You put yourself in that state you are in that journal. Who do you need to become in order to reach those goals? If your goal is weight loss, is health, is fat loss, what is that going to feel like when you drop that stone, those 14, those 20 pounds? You close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. What are you going to feel like currently now you've hit that goal? How do your clothes fit? If your goal is weight loss, how does it feel when you wake up as soon as that alarm goes, when you've got more energy, when you don't get sluggish in bed, when you have energy to get up, you have food that actually makes your body thrive. How does that breakfast feel? What are the smells that are coming from that breakfast? How does it feel when you then walk the dogs, knowing that you're not getting out of breath, just walking them because they're pulling a little bit? How does it feel when you put them in your crate, you go in the shower and you're not feeling stressed about your reflection staring back at you and you're not in the confident body you want to be in how does that feel how does it feel when you're then putting your work clothes on when you go to work and people are commenting how great you feel and look the good vibes are just bouncing and radiating off you how does that make you feel all these different things and you really believe you are already feeling that state you go through your whole day five, 10 minutes, however long, you could do a different part of the day every morning. And you really, really start to believe because you are that person already. And when you start to believe and you feel how you're gonna feel when you get there, you can achieve it. I know how I'm gonna feel when I actually get to the summit of Mount Everest on my 47th birthday. I know how I'm gonna feel. I know how I'm gonna feel when I hit a certain financial goal based around me implementing and improving the lives of millions of people around the world. I know how that feels. I know exactly how it feels when I get to pay my mum's mortgage off. I know how it feels when I buy a house with no mortgage. I know how it feels driving the car that's been, that's a bit of a funny one because I've already got the car that has been my dream car since my dad died when I was 15. I know exactly how these feelings are gonna feel and it's gonna be no surprise and it's gonna be no shock to me when they come. Because I've done the groundwork, because I believe. If you have questions on this, do not hesitate to give me a shout. Ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com or just ask, ask in, uh, in the Cairo. Uh, ask Roger, ask Rachel, ask anyone there that, can I ask Ollie a question? Feel free, that they'll just give you my details. I believe some of the cards are in there as well. Revitalizationblueprint.com is the website. There's a contact me point on there. If you have questions on this, let us know. 
And guys, I really appreciate you watching this podcast. I know it's been a different one. It's been a little bit different to normal, but implement. Start doing the work and you will feel so powerful as a result. Have a great day, the rest of the day, and have a great week. We will both see you next week. Take care, guys.